Earl Glant, Chop Foreman here at Township Chevrolet for another episode of Tech Talk. Uh, you guys did a vote and voted for gasoline direct injected or GDI engines. So we're going to go briefly over that and a little bit of information and just some things to keep in mind if you have a vehicle with that system on it. So the main differences between the older fuel injection or multi-port fuel injection and your GDI, GDI would be um, the gasoline on a, on a multi-port is, is injected into the intake, meaning it's mixing with the air uh, as it travels through the intake and then past the intake valve into the engine and then obviously it ignites and that, that's your mix. So uh, that's the older system and, and it worked okay, everything, it was good. Um, but they've determined now that direct injection is actually better for the engine as far as you can get more horsepower, uh, you have a cleaner running engine, and they can control the fuel mixture uh, much more precisely with a GDI. So what they mean by that is they're spraying it directly into the cylinder where the explosion or the event happens, right? So um, one thing to keep in mind if you've got one of those vehicles that have the GDI um, is there's a couple of things that go along with that, one being the, the intake valves will get dirty. Years ago when you had a multi-port you could just add a, an injector cleaner to your gas tank and if you did every so many thousand kilometers it would keep the backs of your valves clean. And I just got this here as a bit of an example so your fuel mix will, your air and fuel mix in a multi-port will go by your intake valve and gasoline is an excellent uh, cleaner so it kept the backs of those valves clean. So now they switch to the GDI now you've got just air going through there and obviously and, and then you got um, valve overlap because of your uh, variable valve timing and you've also got EGR which EGR valve which recirculates some of the exhaust gas back into the engine to help cool the cylinder it takes in a bit of carbon with it and that carbon after a while will build up just like this um, now the inherent danger with that is that carbon is really really hard and as the valves moving up and down inside the cylinder it can actually beat the seat on the aluminum head and actually cause damage and issues down the road so this is a real easy thing to take care of um, there's tight cleaners that we have available here and a machine that we hook up to your car that, that sprays um, this cleaner into the intake uh, and then it obviously rushes by the valves and it cleans those intake valves for you and uh, cleans the cylinder out. So uh, it's not really dependent on what type of fuel you use anymore because the fuel's not getting to this area anymore. Uh, in driving the car, you know, you, you always hear people say the car's really carboned up because, you know, a, a little old lady drives it and she's barely giving it any gas and she's putting along and doing a lot of in-town driving. That doesn't matter anymore. Uh, it's all about engine runtime and this is going to build up. Uh, there's, no, there's nothing you can do about it. There's, nothing, there's no way for you to control it. So um, best rule of thumb is 30 to 50,000 kilometer mark. Come in and have that uh, cleaner done. Um, doesn't take very long, it only takes about an hour. We hook the cleaner up and what it does is it safely melts this carbon away. Some cleaners you can buy that you, you know, you do in your backyard, you kind of spray it in the, in the engine, some carburetor cleaner, air intake cleaner, can actually cause this carbon to come off in pieces. And when it does, um, pieces of hard carbon going in the cylinder obviously is not a good thing. You got that bouncing around there, it can cause a whole bunch more damage. So the key with the stuff we use here is it, it actually melts that stuff. Um, to determine whether or not you've got a direct injected engine, um, you can bring it in here and we can let you know. Uh, your owner's manual might say something about it. You can call the manufacturer. Um, all the manufacturers kind of have their own little names for it. Uh, Ford's called, called EcoBoost. Um, active fuel management in the, in the older Chevs or Ecotech uh, for the Chevs is one thing they use. Uh, Honda's Earth Dreams, Sky Active is Mazda. You've kind of heard those terms on, those com on the commercials and that's what they're basically referring to. Um, so yeah, it doesn't take that long. Uh, direct injected engines are very fuel efficient, uh, but they lose fuel efficiency very rapidly if, um, if this carbon builds up. So when they're clean and they're working good, they're, they're, they're a lot better than a regular fuel injected engine, but if they're unattended to or that carbon builds up, because carbon is an excellent source, it, 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 it soaks up fuel, it'll soak up fuel. So it'll soak the fuel up, you'll have a lean mixture on your O2 sensor, your computer will see that and it'll start dumping more fuel even though it's not required so um doesn't take very long come in and ask us about it um it'll get your car running uh, most of the people i've done it to they usually on their vehicles they come back and they say they've noticed an increase in fuel mileage or an increase in power so it's something that's kind of nice it's one of those things that you do to your car and you kind of feel or, or see the results from it, which is kind of nice and especially when you're paying at the pumps a little savings there is great too so um 
just come on in and ask us about it and uh, we'll fill you on, give you some more information on it. And uh, that's been another addition to Tech Talk. Uh, Earl Gallant, keep your eye out uh, for another vote for a topic. Or if anyone's got any ideas, drop it in the comments below and we look forward to seeing you. Just a reminder everyone out there, uh, tomorrow, which is Tuesday night, we're having a uh, vehicle car care night. We're going to have some stations set up, uh, how to change a tire, how to look after the paint and the wheels on your car with our detail department. I'll be doing how to ch uh, check fluids and what to look for in fluids. We'll have another one for maintenance, boosting vehicles. Uh, it starts at 7 o'clock. Everyone's more than welcome to come. Uh, if you are going to come, just uh, let us know on our Facebook page there. Click attend and uh, we'll have some stuff set up and it'll be a great night and you'll be able to ask some questions. And uh, I'll be here along with some of the coworkers and uh, answer any questions you guys have about your car. So we look forward to seeing you.